and yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for people that have supported me so far. I am very, very grateful and please continue supporting me in 2024. <laughs> Once this last meal before we try to hike back tomorrow, we are getting the Genghis Khan barbecue, which specializes in Australian mutton, which is in lamb. Um, we also chose a few other lamb pieces and beef, so I'm very excited to try this. It's a Hokkaido special and it smells amazing. Luckily it's hair wash day because my hair still smells like barbecue. So they use this type of grill shaped like the Genghis Khan helmet and you've got the charcoal underneath. Got myself a Hokkaido beer. That's so refreshing. Some of our meat has started to come out. That one there is a spicy lamb. I can't actually remember which meats we chose, but lamb, 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 beef. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Chitose Airport. We have just checked in our luggages and getting ready to board our flight soon. But before we do so, just getting a quick bite to eat. We have a lot of options. We can get one of these rice bowls and it's got the Hokkaido specialty. But there's still a lot more down this end, so let's see what we can eat. Oh, there's even soup curry. So we decided to get soup curry, one last soup curry before we leave Hokkaido. So this restaurant, you can either get pork cutlet or chicken, and then you can choose the rice side. So it comes with the soup curry, chicken, shimeji, carrot, green pepper, potato, broccoli, and eggplant. And I'm gonna get the chicken soup curry. Oh wow, our soup curry came out so fast. This looks good. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Look how big the spoon is, it's like a ladle. Mm. Looking for hidden gems. Let's try some of this soup. I was eating this soup curry with the chicken and something about it was so familiar and then I remembered it reminds me of my grandma's curry that she used to cook all the time and she used to cook it with the chicken exactly like this so this is very nostalgic for me Oh, I'm so full. That was so delicious. Just walking around now, I want to show you a few things that you should get when you come to Hokkaido. So Hokkaido, or any prefecture in Japan, they all specialize in different types of edible gifts, like desserts and snacks and biscuits and whatever. So this one is quite popular. It's two waffle biscuits and some type of cream filling. It's actually sold out for the day. And there's another one that you should get. And I had a try of it yesterday and it was so good. We ended up buying a few more and we bought heaps of boxes in our luggages for family and friends. It's this biscuit right here. And I'll open it up in a second to show you what it looks like. Oh, and one more thing. The Tao, I mentioned it in my other video already, but a must when you come here. Last night, Michael and I bought 
a whole double fromage cheesecake and ate it in bed and we smashed the whole thing. So we actually went to the store yesterday and picked up boxes and boxes and boxes of food, souvenirs, snacks to bring back for family and friends. This is one of the ones that I was talking about. It's a must when you come to Hokkaido. I'll open one up for you to have a look. The packaging itself is so pretty. I love the design. This is the box of five. We actually bought for family and friends the variety box that has different types of them. But this is the most famous one. And individually they look like this. When you open it up, it's two very crumbly biscuits. And inside there's some type of cream and raisin filling. Mmm. Oishi. All right, finally boarding. Oh my God, do you see that? It's a Sanrio plane. Oh, so cute. See you in Taipei. Just landed in Taipei, Taiwan. Okay, so we're here at the Taiwan Lucky Land, which is like a lottery lucky draw thing. You get the chance to win cash, vouchers for hotel or vouchers for activities so you have to pre-register which we've done so and now we're going to do our lucky draw oh damn it didn't win anything Okay, unfortunately I didn't win anything. I guess today is my bad luck day because just now I actually came all the way to customs and realized that I left my AirPod case on the plane. So I had to walk all the way back and then get the security to check the plane for me and retrieve my AirPod case. Oh, it's just like my bad luck day. I just need to go back to the hotel and rest and eat some yummy food and then I'll feel better. First time in Taiwan, so it's all very new to me. I think we need to get an IC train card to use for public transport. And that's what we're going to get now because we need to catch the train to our hotel, which is in Simenting. It's like 7.15 p.m. right now. So hopefully we get there just in time for dinner. They sell easy cards or IC transit cards at the convenience store. So very easy to get. <gasps> oh, these are the different designs that we can pick for our cards. Oh my God, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, they're so adorable. You're gonna get that one. Oh, I'm just having a very hard time deciding. I'll do this one. Whee! Thank you. So we're staying on the eighth floor. This is our room. I chose the queen size room. Quick overview. So in here we have our toilet. I do like that the toilet is separate from the shower. Our sink area. We've got bathrooms and a little closet area. Then here is the toilet. No, this is the shower. And a little dining area with a welcome gift. Some fruit, soft drinks and candy. Very cute. And so we have our TV and our queen bed. 
Oh my gosh, there is so much space. It's so different to our hotel in Sapporo, but I'm loving it. Going to settle in and go for a walk, get some food and explore our area for a little bit. Quick outfit adjustment because it's so hot outside and change to my Ugg boots. We're gonna go eat now, let's go. So we are at the front street of our hotel and my first impression is that it reminds me of Myeongdong, Seoul. It reminds me of Korea a lot, like the streets. It's kind of like a mixture of Hong Kong meets Japan as well. So I'm excited. We're gonna go explore. I'm surprised that it's like still lively even at this time of the night. It's like 9 p.m. right now. So we're going to see what there is to eat. I am happy to just pick whatever. Oh, I see Second Street. Is that a sign for me to go thrifting? here at the Simending Night Market and surprisingly all the stalls are still open so we are just gonna make our way through stall by stall. <laughs> So we got the fried chicken with chopped garlic, some grilled beef with black pepper, and also this grilled mochi with peanut and condensed milk. I'm gonna try this out. All right, let's give this a try. Mm, the garlic is so good. Now we're gonna try some of this grilled beef with black pepper. A little bit chewy. Maybe I've had this part. and it's covered in crushed peanut and condensed milk. It's so good. All right, let's see what else there is. <laughs> Thank you. Let's try these sweet potato cheese balls. They're deep fried. Let's see what the inside looks like. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Steaming hot. Oh. Oh. It's kind of like a mochi like texture on the inside. But I like that it's made from sweet potato because I love sweet potato. Topping it off with a melon Yakult drink. Oh my god, this is so good. Or well, maybe I'm just hella thirsty from all that food, but very refreshing just what I needed after a long day. I'm gonna go wander around for a little bit and then head back to the hotel. See you guys in the morning. Morning. So part of our stay comes with complimentary daily breakfast. We're gonna go downstairs and check out what the breakfast options are. Let's go.
boiled egg. I wonder if they have tea egg. Okay, so this is like all the Asian area. Asian breakfast. Oh, I think I might want one of these. Ooh, that looks good. That sounds really good too. Soy milk and congee. Mm, I'm feeling congee. I've been craving congee for like weeks. And then you can have all the condiments here. And then that's like the omelette omelet station. And then this side here. Okay. We've got like hash browns, bacon, sausages, breads. This would be like the Western breakfast section. We also have cereals and juice and soy milk as well as some fruit and yogurt. All right, well, let's eat. I'm hungry. So there is a recipe for savory soy milk. I'm just gonna add a bunch of whatever. Oh, you know what? I think you're supposed to add the soy milk last. I'm just gonna add it on top. I have savory soy milk soup. I also have a steamed pork bun, toasted croissant, hash brown, baked beans, a sausage, a dumpling and then just some butter and jam for my croissant. So first of all, I'm most curious about this soy milk soup. Let's taste my concoction. So I added sesame oil, peanuts, scallions, soy sauce and I think it was garlic, I'm not sure. So let's try this out. Mmm, I actually really like this. Mmm, so much flavor. I didn't realize it was this easy to make. Maybe I will start making it when I get home. Then onto the conventional Western breakfast. Well, actually it's a bit of a mix because I've got my dumplings here as well, but. Mmm, can't go wrong. Mmm, my hash brown's cold. Sausage is semi cold too. At least I got to toast the croissant. So I'm going to add some butter and blueberry jam to it. Bon appetit. Mmm. Yum. Next up, trying out my dumpling. Mmm. I think it's a pork dumpling. Pretty good. Not the best that I've had though. Oh, my bao bun has split open. But let's try this out. That's what it looks like on the inside. Not bad. But that was pretty good. I think I will save my appetite for some more food when we go out later and I'll try some of the other things over the next few days. So I'm gonna go back and get ready and then head out. So I'll see you shortly. I'm wearing my $5 thrifted white shirt and my $3 thrifted black flats. I look cute. I just had a donut and coffee from Mr. Donut. So I'm feeling refreshed. And now we're just going shopping just to see if there's anything else to get because it's winter here in Taiwan but winter here is like 20 to 25 degrees so I actually don't have many clothes that accommodate this weather so let's do some shopping. Look at this coaster set. So it's like this and then each one of these is Coaster for your cup. I think that is so cute. I'm such a sucker for things like this. Wow. 
This is where we plan on having lunch today, and that's the line. So this place is called Tian Tian Li Restaurant, and they specialize in Lu Rou Fan, which is braised pork and rice with egg. I'm so hungry right now, I'm ready for this. So we're gonna get the turnip cake, which is like the carrot cake, and also the marinated meat rice with egg. It's like a very fast paced in here, people are in and out and yeah they serve up the food really quickly. We got our rice already and just waiting on um, just waiting on our carrot cake now. So we have our carrot cake there and our braised pork rice topped with a fried egg. Let's mix that up. All right, my first bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect. Braised pork with rice and egg is something that I grew up eating all the time, but I've never had it like this where the braised pork is cut up really, really small. Mmm, this is so yummy. Now I'm gonna try some of the carrot cake. So I will grab a piece and dip it in both of the sauces. Let's try this out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, got red pen on my shirt already. Hopefully this washes out. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to chuck this five dollar shirt. So the next thing on our list is Aichang flour rice noodles. I have been seeing this on my feed for the longest time. I really, really want to try it. They've got a very efficient production line here. One person scooping it, the other one getting the condiments, the other one prepping it in the bowl, and someone else taking the orders. And yeah, they serve you very fast. So this is the small size. It's actually quite a generous serving and it comes topped with coriander and you add your own condiment. So we're going to do that now. Adding a bit of chili, a bit of garlic and a bit of vinegar. Alright, let's try this out. I feel like I'm going to splatter this on my white shirt. Oh wow, so much flavor. Definitely recommend adding chili. That really elevated the whole dish. Hey guys, it's officially the last weekend of 2023. It has gone so quick and I feel like this holiday has gone really quickly, but really, really enjoying Taipei so far. Today we are going to hang around Zhongshan area, which is a very popular cafe and shopping district. So just going to have a very chill day, do a bit of shopping, and I do need to find an outfit for tomorrow, New Year's Eve. We're gonna be meeting up with a few of my friends and they've booked a table at C'est Vie. So going to watch the fireworks from there and have a few drinks. So let's go see what Zhongshan has to offer.
Hey guys, currently back at the hotel. We spent the whole day at Zhongshan and just walked around the cute alleyways. They were full of cute cafes, shops, and some bars as well. And yeah, it was a really nice neighborhood. I really enjoyed walking around there. And then afterwards we went to Ningxia Night Market and they started setting up all the food stalls there. There were some really, really good ones. We didn't try that many because our feet started to hurt so bad. So we came back. I'm now in my Ugg boot, nice and comfortable. And then going to head back out very shortly. But I did pick up a few things today. One of the things I'm very, very excited to show you, my favorite purchase of the day. Ah, uh, my new baby. This is a gorgeous red leather Chloe bag with a gold chain strap um, and gold detail. And I'm obsessed. Oh, it's so, so gorgeous. Now we'll probably head back out and eat some more because I'm still starving. And we have a whole another huge day of eating tomorrow. I'll probably make a separate video for that. We're going to this prestigious buffet called Ajoy. And then tomorrow night is New Year's Eve. So we'll be spending that with some friends. We just finished eating breakfast. We just had a very light breakfast at the breakfast buffet downstairs. I had a bowl of congee and also a bowl of savory soy milk soup. And now I'm just gonna starve myself until our 2.45 reservation at the massive buffet, which I will make a separate video for. Our session finishes at 5.15 p.m. And then we're gonna come back, get ready really quickly and head straight back out. And it's actually New Year's Eve today. I have a lot of plans for 2024. I do wanna grow my YouTube channel a little bit more and film more content. So hopefully I'll have more time to do that. And yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for the people that have supported me so far. I am very, very grateful and I do recognize every single supportive comment. So thank you so, so much. And please continue supporting me in 2024. I will promise to make better content moving forward. A little foundation just does the trick. So back at the hotel now, we had a delicious buffet lunch. Oh my god, I ate so much until it felt like my stomach was going to explode. But it was so worth it, it was so delicious. We definitely ate our money's worth and we ate the full two and a half hours. Oh my god, I would definitely recommend it. It was so good. Had such a food coma the whole way back. Found my heels that I'm wearing for tonight and came back and got ready. We're already running so late. We were meant to be at the event at 8 o'clock. It's now nearly 9 o'clock. We'll probably get there at 9.30 to be honest. I bought these stunning ivory heels. I'm going to wear it with my dress. Final fit check. 